Joining us on the phone right now is Kimberly Brewer, who's based out of JBLM in Washington. So she's normally living here, but she's in North Carolina visiting family and she's trying to get out this morning. Kimberly, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all this morning? Well, we're doing fine. I'm wondering how you are doing and tell us about the, um, did you have to get to an airport earlier than you thought you would because of Hurricane Florence? Well, ironically enough, my flight was, I was already scheduled to leave on Wednesday. When I booked the ticket, I had thought I was leaving on Friday and just booked the wrong day. I normally have a bit more attention to detail than that, but oh. missed that one. But uh, now I'm glad I did because when I tried to change my flight yesterday to leave today, I couldn't get a seat. So, so you're going to be wow. leaving uh, tomorrow? Uh, allegedly. Yes, ma'am. If uh, you can get RDU out. Is still not, yeah, RDU is still not saying anything about flights leaving tomorrow, and the app still says my flight is boarding at 1130 tomorrow, so we'll Interesting. see. Interesting. <laughs> are, are, you, are you seeing, Kimberly, the kind of response on the ground there, people talking about it, the kind of uh, emergency that uh, we're, we're seeing here from the West Coast? Well, I'm from here, so I live through Hugo and all those other legendary storms that a lot of people might not know anything about. But, yeah, so you, can't, you can't get water. There's places that have run out of gas. Um, they're actually reversing I-26 leaving Charleston. Of course, I've been keeping an eye on this because I'm rerouting myself to avoid interstates. Mm. Um, what they do is they, they flip the northbound and southbound lanes to go both go northbound. So I think the governor of this state, I'm in South Carolina at the moment visiting family, and I think the governor said there's about a million people they need to get off the South Carolina coast. Right, and when you think about that, the number of people uh, having to leave all at once, it, are you seeing roads being jammed? Are you seeing panic at all or you know people really truly worried about this category four storm i think people are taking excuse me i think people are taking this pretty seriously mm -hmm. like i said even as far as i am um and i'm only an hour and a half to the coast where i'm at um they um shelves are emptying gas stations are running out of gas mm -hmm. um a lot of and the, what makes it harder is a lot of people where i am are transient i'm near shower for space at the moment and a lot of people here are transient, so they've never seen this kind of excitement, if you will, mm -hmm. um, that happens. But and right now, of course, it's the total, totally misgiving with the weather because there's literally not a cloud in the sky here. All right, Kimberly Brewer, home in North Carolina, trying to get back to base here at JBLM. Maybe uh, Hopefully if she, she can, can get, get out. out. No <laughs> kidding. Yeah. <laughs> We're wishing you the best of luck, Kimberly. Thanks for joining us this morning and taking some time.